You're unbelievable. The Morning Drive with Mike Bagley and Pete Pistoni. Oh! Nine minutes before the top of the hour. Billy Scott, 2311 Racing coming up. Corey Heim going to join us at 1030 right now. Hey, Pete? Yes. What is today? Today, Bagman, is Wednesday, January 18th, 2023. Today is National Disc Jockey Day. Okay, I want a god concerted effort to come out of a record that isn't a f***ing up-tempo record every time I do a god death dedication. It's a god last god time. I want somebody to use his f***ing brain to not come out of a god record that is, uh, that, that's up-tempo, and I gotta talk about a f***ing dog dying. Don't get too dramatic. <laughs> keep your feet on the ground and keep is reaching real, for the stars. Is that or is that somebody doing Casey well, Kasem? No, 100% oh, real. That's real. real. That wears is real. down with the pictures. That is real. ponderous. That is real. That's Casey Kasem. For the Kasem, pictures. American Top 40. Didn't want to come out of the long-distance dedication with an upbeat song. I have to talk about a dead dog. Okay. Fair. I think that's fair. And he lets you know I will about put it. Casey down for a no. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Today is Winnie the Pooh Day. Winnie the Pooh. Hey. Winnie the Pooh. Hey. Chubby little cubby all stuffed with fluffy. <laughs> that's my favorite Don't. part. Think badly of me, but Winnie the Pooh is my personal most disliked character of that nature. Oh my! What, what? I was a Merry Melodies. I was like a Bugs Bunny, Roadrunner type dude, like Sylvester the Cat, Tweety Bird. Mm-hmm. Winnie the Pooh was well further down the list. He he didn't crack the top. That's an outrage. More. He was Same. very. Or he is. He's still with us. He's very meek and mild. Is he didn't he? bother anybody. Well, I don't think Winnie the Pooh's passed away. I don't think. Why are you a poo? Oh. You're a poo hater. Oh, Pooh Bear. See, Eeyore was the guy who was the troublemaker. Who wants to hang around that sour puss? Oh. I liked Piglet. Yeah, Is that Piglet what his name was? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Little Piglet. Or Tigger, the tiger with the bouncy tail. Ooh, not- ooh. Whatever it is. That's, that's, not, that's more Yogi Bear, if anything. Sorry about yeah. that. There. Hey, 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 boo-boo. Boo-boo. hey, boo-boo. Today is also an ode to Nate Ryan. It's Thesaurus Day. Yes, Roger on line two for Nate Ryan, who I believe is winging his way to Daytona right now for the roar before the 24. Nate, our man, a thesaurus with legs. Yes, look at he him is. go. Yeah, look at him go. And that's what we love about him. On this day in 1803, Thomas Jefferson, in secret communication with Congress, sought authorization for the first official exploration by the United States government. Secret conversations? Secret communication. Ooh. Ooh, back room, back Not channels. Transparent. Oh, Not come on. What's going on? What are you not telling us? What do you, you bring? What you bring back to your house there, TJ? <laughs> what do you got there? On this day in 1778, English navigator Captain James Cook discovered the Hawaiian Islands, which he called the Sandwich Islands. That is a big, greasy bologna sandwich. Well, he was hungry when he got there. He's like, "Let's order out. I'll take a Reuben." Well, how did you like? How do you arrive at Sandwich Islands? Of all the things to call it, why why a sandwich? It might have been. He might have been from. There is that Earl of Sandwich guy. Like, Sandwich is, yeah, is, is an actual place. Connection. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yep, it. That's, that's it. it. Well, he was going to call yeah. He was gonna call for a salad, but, you know, he's like, you know what? It's my cheat day. Let's go. Soup, salad, oh. sandwich. What's the difference? <laughs> On this day in 1788, the first English settlers arrived in Australia's Botany Bay to establish a penal colony. The group moved north eight days later and settled at Port Jackson. Australia, 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 we love you. Amen. <laughs> we do love you, Australia. Never been. Too long a plane ride for me. They you were to honor the course. fourth Earl of Sandwich, just so we are aware. Oh, it was. Okay, so yes, there's a good, good connection. They thank had you. four Earls of Sandwich. Imagine that. Number four. Well, you had your ham, your turkey, your pastrami, and your chicken I'm the roast beef. I'm the roast beef Earl. We just <laughs> talked to pastrami. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. On that... <laughs> All right, Davey. On this day in 1886, (laughs) the Hockey Association was formed in England. This date is the birthday of modern field hockey. Field hockey. Okay. I like field hockey. It's not lacrosse. Don't don't ever say that. Those are two different games. Field hockey is fun. What what makes them different? The stick that they use is one thing that makes them different. The size of the net is another thing. I learned the hard way by confusing the two, so there is a difference between the two, Baggy. All right. On this day in 1896, the X-ray machine was exhibited for the first time. Now, I wonder if that got a hard time because it was an exhibition. It wasn't a real X-ray that mattered. <laughs> they get any medals? 
You know what? I see right through that. Hopefully they don't do medals because then that becomes a – oh, no, that's MRIs. With that <laughs> that's <medals>. MRIs. <laughs> We're batting a 1,000 here this morning. <laughs> on this day in 1929, Walter Winchell made his debut on radio. Okay. Is that the Winchell Mahoney show? Or <laughs> that's a different Winchell, I think. On this day in 1939, Louis Armstrong and his orchestra recorded Jeepers Creepers. <laughs> Jeepers Creepers. Is that Louis, though, or Louis? Louis! Where do you get those Your peepers? Call. Is it tomato or is it tomato? It's biopic, biopic. Potato, potato. On this day in 1950, the federal tax on oleomargarine was repealed. I like the butter flavor because it's got even more calories. <laughs> <laughs> Spread it up. <laughs> on this day in 1975. Well, we're moving on up. We're moving on up. To The Jeffersons debuted on CBS. One of the best theme songs of a TV show was created on that date. I love that. Absolutely correct. That's probably the top five for sure for me. Definitely. On this day in 1987, for the first time in history, the public broadcasting system, or PBS, was seen by over 100 million viewers. The audience was measured during the week of January 12th through the 18th. I love PBS. Proud supporter, WTTW here in Chicago. On this day in 1990, in an FBI sting, Washington, D.C. Mayor Marion Barry was arrested for drug possession. He was later convicted of a misdemeanor. I'll never forget that night. Like, what? <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> Marion, what are you doing, son? On this day in 1995, the Yahoo.com domain was created. Yahoo! <laughs> I still use it. And on this day in 2002, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration announced the approval of a saliva-based ovulation test. Uh, what? Now spit! Birthdays today. Estelle is 43. Take me on a trip. I'd like to go someday. Dave Bautista is 54. T. Higgins, 24. Kevin Costner, 68. Kerry Grant would have been 119. Other birthdays today include Bill Davis, Christian Fittipaldi, and Gilles Villeneuve. Well, there you have it, everybody. Happy birthday, one and all, on this Wednesday, January 18th, 2023.